It's Thursday today guys, Thursday evening, well technically Friday, but um, I wanted to continue doing some of the campaign missions today guys, and just smashing through as long as we can. I really appreciate all of your feedback and likes on my previous video guys, so can we beat 100 likes on this video? Now without further ado, let's get straight into the campaign, and one of the main reasons I kind of want to push through the campaign is because these badges here are unlocked in the next part. And then I can get these and put them onto everyone. So I'm kind of just going to mass produce stamina ready for the next double drop event. Then I can just get those of those nice and easy. So let's jump straight in. Um, campaign, normal. So I've done a couple of them. So I'm just going to continue and just kind of do as many as I can without this video becoming like overly whelming long. But um, you guys know I've got Zerg now and I've got his red skill which makes him phenomenal. So um, you, you'll see here when he starts to do anything, Zerg, everybody drops and he's such, like I cannot tell you en like enough how good these red skills are guys. They are incredible red skills. So you can, oh that laser pinged off then. You can actually see, just watch Zerg now alert. Sword, every shot does more damage and if it's a tank it does even more damage. Here again look. Look how ridiculous that is. Look at how ridiculous that is. The only problem I have, so like, um, if, if I use him in PvP, right? So I'm going to show you something here. So I'm in 10th now, which is not bad. But obviously, everybody has just... Uh, I am going to attempt to fight the top team. It doesn't really work. Because unfortunately, where the game's locked on auto... Um, Meg doesn't, you can't choose who to link Meg with, so you can't risk having someone in front of Zerg, because um, what I'm thinking is that I want someone to link with Zerg, um, but no, I don't, yeah, like that. So let's get Meg, will it automatically link with Zerg, keeping Zerg alive longer and allowing him to get his... Cool. I'm just going to delete that out of this video. <laughs> right, but you guys get my point. Um, I, I do need to level up Jafar, but I just don't rate him. I, I just think he's a bit... I'm not going to stoop that low, guys. I'm not going to stoop that low. Right, here we go. So once again, just look at my main man Zerg now. Obviously, you saw that I got his red scar up to level 3 as well. So, you know, I'm not messing around with him. And then I want to push over to Bo Peep next. So the only two characters I'm using when I go through... <coughs> when I go through City Watch is Zerg and Bo Peep. Because then I'm only going to get their two shards. Which means they'll be the next characters I can level up. So, oh, you can just see how easy this is, guys. Oh, that was nice as well. Oh, the trophy. I'm not sure who I need the trophy for yet, but... Um, you know, but we're getting, we're getting all the badges, guys. So we can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see that it's just absolutely everyone is being annihilated, which is just so good. Continue through that. I'm not going to bother that yet. So let's just keep... So once again, this is another level that doesn't matter how many stars you get it on. So if you play like that, guys, you can kind of just de-stress yourself a little bit and just kind of chill and just go for it. You know, as you go along. So just look. Look how nice that is. Nice and easy. Just chill. Just flying through. Absolutely rinsing everyone. Oh, I needed the trophies as well. So that probably means this level 4 is going to give me the trophies. So let's, let's, let's see what we can get, guys. Just that Bo Peep absorbing all of the attacks there, guys. It's just where it's at. And then look at, look at that damage. Everyone's dead. And it is it is pretty crazy, guys. That, you know, you're, you're looking at that much damage for basically everything that you do.
done, rinsed. So that's nice and easy as well. Um, now we're going to be on the next kind of important mission where you have to freestyle this one. But with, you know, because guys, obviously I've been doing kind of the, the leveling up week on my channel. So I've been making sure everyone's up to date, all my characters are leveled up. And it, it does help, guys. Because now I'm able to go through this without even thinking about what's going on, really. Which is, okay, so they've killed Meg, which is annoying because this is the one where I needed it to be three stars. So what I will do here is um, I will retreat out and then we can um, come back in. So let's retreat. So let's take it off of auto again and then we can kind of analyse what went wrong. So let's link up with um, Pippi. So there's a lot of damage being shunted just at the very start. Um, yeah, because it was those laser people that were shooting towards the back straight away. Oh god, that's ridiculous. Especially if you go animal, then Zerg, and he sped up, look. Oh no! How did they kill Zerg then? That shouldn't have happened. That was naughty. Let's, let's go in again. Let's, I'm going to try that again. I, I refuse that. That should not have happened. Right, link up with Bo Peep. Oh, they killed... They killed Meg this time. Let's go again. Let's stick on auto. Let's get all the skills used as quickly and efficiently as possible here. It's that drain. It's that drain from Sally. Okay, so Meg is not being useful in this one. So let's try and put on Sully and get another kind of full-on healer. Kind of just minding his own business and doing his own stuff here. So it's alright at the moment. And Sully's healed everyone. Done. Okay, lovely. So now with that, let's keep going through. I have been upgrading Sully as well. Because Sully works really, really well with Zerg. So you can see when Sully roars, it opens up for crits. And Zerg does even more damage than he already does. So it's one of those things, guys, when you think about Sully and Zerg together, are just, ugh, mental. So that's why I've, I haven't maxed Sully out. But I've kind of just been low-key leveling Sully What? What? Why was he just in... Okay, I'm going to leave that on for now. Why was he just sat there invincible? What the heck was that about? It's always just the game. This game. It annoys me. Oh, yeah, we're getting the, the double characters now. Like, this game could just do with a little bit of... You know, maybe when they release a character... A little bit of brain power to think oh maybe i'll make this character balance this time and not make him ridiculously overpowered now nah, we won't do that because people won't spend loads of money on the diamond crates that is the mindset guys which I, I i get you know i do get but i mean come on come on guys you know sort your stuff out a little bit you know i believe in you guys So I'm going to do one more, guys, and I'm going to do a team review to round the video up. Now, you know, I like to just continue these videos here and there, guys. Basically see what we can do. Nice and easy. Keep You just got to keep the few kills going, guys. There we go. So, now I want to do a team review, so I might as well do it on here, guys. Okay, so, for today's team review, guys, I have, bum, 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 the Mexadorian. Presumably, he's Mexican and he's mixed the word Mandalorian with it. And that is a phenomenal TV show. I have been watching it, guys. So, he says that his team is, ooh, lovely. Olaf is always a strong character when I see people put him in teams. Goofy. No, I know I say this every time, guys, but you all get annoyed at my Goofy because he's blue. Alice and Miguel. Uh, Marida, Alice, Miguel. So, straight away, guys, um, you know how obsessed I am with Miguel in this game. I think he's incredible. Alice, um, Alice is really good as well. I hired at Alice when I was going through a um, City Watch once. Really, really good. And then Marida. Okay, so the first two things I spot in this team... 
The first three things I spot on this team, which are good, are your front two and Miguel. So, gosh, sorry. So, if you look at Olaf, he's very good at freezing the enemies with that cloud move he does, and when he dies, he heals. So, you could say that you've overkilled the tanks here. You might not need Goofy as well, but Goofy is actually a really good kind of all-around character with damage and everything like that. So, I can kind of say those two work really well together. Then you've got Miguel, who's just going to be sat at the back mind his own business healing and the buffing so obviously guys whenever he puts a, a magic note above someone's head on the enemy team and you use your special it stuns them so that's really good to keep in mind when you're playing and he's going to keep everyone healed then you're going to have a rider who's absolutely slaying bullets endlessly um but i i suggest you take Marider out guy um the mexadorian and you put in Honestly, guys, I've got a newfound love for Zerg because in this team, you've got a very, very good amount of tanks and stopping power at the front. So Miguel's going to be healing the top two tanks. Those two are going to be taking all of the damage. We're just going to let Zerg sit there and use its moves. And if you can get the red skill for Zerg, he is incredible. Then you're going to have Alice who goes big, stomps, hits everyone and keeps herself healed. So that's my suggestion for you, um, the Mexidorian. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like and subscribe.